Hello and welcome back to the United Way for your latest Manchester United news. I am Dean and we're going to be going through the quickest, well I suppose you could say, the news that's been kind of going around the last couple of hours, day, relating to Manchester United. This is pre-recorded. Uh, again, I want to kind of come with, you know, different schedule and all that over the week. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go through that over time. But please do like the video, comment and subscribe. It much, much appreciated. And please do also hit the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. Or publish a pre-recorded video and follow on our socials as well. Links in the description be much much appreciated as always. Book no point being around the bush. Um, we're going to start off talking about Alejandro Garnacho, the man you can see on the the screen, and you can see the news scrolling down below. So we will start off with um, Alejandro Garnacho did not train on Friday as he felt unwell. He wanted to play for Man United. And so was given the chance by Eric Ten Hag, but he was clearly affected by his illness, hence his halftime substitution. Again, this has come from Insider United. You know, and look, don't don't hit me or don't hit at me because I'm reading out this news. I see news that's being shared around by other big fan channels and all that sort of stuff. So I say, well, I don't just judge by them. You know, I don't know what they do, so I must do it. You know, me, I just see it and I, I, I do what you know I think is right and I'm speaking about it. Um so um, Alex Garnacho came off, uh, but there's also other bit of news coming from Samuel Lukhorst. Eric Ten Hag has addressed Alejandro Garnacho personally after his likes on social media on Saturday. A may not spoke person said the matter was dealt with internally, but declined to clarify whether Garnacho has been outright has been outright disciplined. So Garnacho has been disciplined. Um, you know, the mail was 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 you know Garnac the Garnacho the club appreciated that Garnacho quickly and like the, the the posts and the matter was was um was dealt with so you know look i'm not gonna you know deny you know mark garbage put out two tweets um i think it was after the bournemouth game on saturday uh it was on saturday anyway i'm not sure what it was midway through the bournemouth game or after but um mark garbage came out talking about you know garnacho and ten Hag and all that sort of stuff um and Garnacho liked it. And the club obviously noticed it. And you know, Garnacho was told about it. He quickly liked the post. Things were done. So he gets his disciplined. We all move on. Everyone's happy. Look, should he have liked the posts? Maybe not. But you know, he says something he agreed with and he liked it. And I, even though he he, he unliked it, he still agrees with it. And I'm worried about a situation again that Ten Hag is having problems with another player in Garnacho. Um I look Ten Hag taking him off, you know, because of illness, you know, believe that or not, the substitution was a bit weird. But um if look if it was that that's that's what I but if that's just the 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 we say sugar coated it's a bit crap. You know what I mean? I hope it's not an excuse. Um Oh, look, he wasn't injured, which was which is obviously brilliant news. I actually said it in the watch line. I says I actually in hope he's he's for Ten Hag's sake. I hope it was just tactical. I hope he's not injured. Uh, but then Ten Hag for Ten Hag's sake, he would have probably needed him to be injured. But look, policy was illness. But you know the problem is when you like it, it um, in it, it, you know, a Twitter post or an Instagram post. Yeah, you're, you're going to um. As a footballer as well, you're gonna, you know, have to. It's gonna be no. It's everyone's gonna see it. Everyone's gonna share it around. And before you know it, it all of Manchester United see, it, and that's exactly what happened. So, what I think of it, look, I think it's. I mean, look, I always think it's a bit, you know, babyish. But you know, you know, you look at Sancho and Ten Hag spoke up about him after the Arsenal game. How quick things can change. How quick one like on a on a post that is 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 complaining about what the manager done with the player, and then it's 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 honestly, you know, I don't it's even now I still don't know what to think of it, make of it, because you know, Garnacho has been Ten Hag's main man. I think Arnacho has been our best attacking player this season. I don't think that'll change. I think he's been our best attacking player. He's got on Ten Hag out of, of, of sticky situations numerous times this season. And if you look, 
I'd, I'd be very surprised if there's there's look there may be an issue. You know, Ten Hag wants oh, not Ten Hag, Garnacho loves Manchester United. He wants to get better and better. You know, game in, game out, whatever you want to say. And you know, hopefully, you know, look, it's, he's been disciplined, all that sort of stuff. But um, you hope it doesn't affect Garnacho or anything else because you know that that's the last thing you want. The last thing you want. Um, but look, all's been sorted, all's been dealt with. I'm not going to dwell on it too much. I'm sure we'll hear a lot more about it before the game against Coventry at Wembley in the semi final in the FA Cup on Sunday. So I'm just going to sit back, see what happens. But uh, that's, that, that's pretty much been my thoughts. Because look, I, I want to kind of change my ways. I want to be more positive. I want to be more outspoken, no filter, let people know how I feel. And that's what I'm going to do from here on in. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything else. Next up, Anthony. Um, and again, let us know your thoughts actually on Garnacho and Ten Hag. And you know, is the illness part crap? Did he just give us your sort of, of of views on the news? Because you know, people have a lot of different views on this news and the other the bit of news I'm going to read now on Anthony. So again. From inside of United, for clarity, Anthony trained on Friday. Whoever felt some discomfort Saturday morning, it was discussed and decided that he should not travel. Garnacho never trained Friday as felt as he felt unwell. He wanted to play, so again, like I said, he was given a chance, but it was clearly affected at half time. I mean, I can't think of traveling on Saturday. We all just thought he's injured, another player injured, you know, typical. Um, but you know, it was a bit of discomfort, all that sort of stuff. Woman, you were you were saying there was no injury. You know, he spoke to Ten Hag about game time, and you know, there's problems there. Then you're getting told it's an injury. So again, this is why I don't know what to be saying. This is why some people don't know what to be to be what way to make it because you're getting told two, three, four different things. And I'd rather have an honest. The Ten Hag came out and said, "Yeah, he came to me about an issue, and I didn't agree with it." So I dropped him. Again, I'd be a bit, Jesus Christ, Ten Hag, what are you trying to do to yourself? But then I'd also be a bit, you know, look, he came out, he was honest. And look, I'm not going to sit back and say, you know, Ten Hag hasn't had a problem with, you know, or I'm just, you know, the players, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, James Sancho, and Rafael Varane, um, Garnacho, you could almost throw in there now. Um, Anthony, you know, they're the two potential ones, but I do hope that there was no problems. There was no problems because if you're going to get these problems on Manchester United, it's a lot of pressure on you. And look, Ten Hag, the dressing room, you know, since Ten Hag took over, and even just for this, this season, especially, I really saw, you know, like. I saw. I, I was. I was. I was wary about it. But on Saturday after that Bournemouth game, I was. I just looked at Manchester United, the club I love and support, do content for, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I thought, you know, we looked done for. We 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 looked done for. Ten Hag looked like he, he 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 just didn't know what to do anymore. He looked hopeless, and the players just looked like you know they've gave up. When it's not the first time. You know, if Ten Hag, and again, I, want, I don't want to speak about too much about Ten Hag because I want to do a separate video on that, give me overviews and thoughts and whatever that's involved about that. But you just do get fed up with this news because I thought the days of problems with players and all that sort of stuff and, you know, shitty results. You're going to always going to get shitty results, doesn't matter how good you are. You know, it's just if football is a crazy game, but these off the pitch problems, I thought they were done for. I thought they were done. Finished. I would never see them see them again, and they're back. So, I mean, look, it's 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 a shame. It really, really is a big, big shame. Um, and yeah, I do hope that you know. Again, I go to the last bit of news, but me 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 main thoughts is, you know, Anthony. Suppose he does an injury, a uh, discomfort, Garnacho illness took off at half time. He's got discipline, that sort of stuff. But let's start off, let's end the video talking about Jeremy Frimpong, the Bayer Leverkusen, Bundesliga winner. Bundesliga, you know, won the title on Sunday. Um, deservedly so, deservedly so. Um, you know, you have to give credit. 
you have to give credit. And that's just how it is. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you, you can see there, uh, Manchester United have, have held concrete talks with Jeremy Frimpong. He has a £34 million release clause in his bar level accusing contract. This has come from Christian Falk and caught offside. Um, so, look, I'd love Jeremy Frimpong at Manchester United. I'd love him. He's a quick, young winger. I'd love... Um, I really would love um, Jeremy Frimpong of Manchester United. Sorry, I got distracted here because I'm actually watching the Chelsea game and Parham was being a little bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, it's 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 interesting because Jeremy Frimpong would love. Do I think we'll get him? Honestly, I don't think you want to come to us. I, I, if we don't, we're not going to make Champions League football. Manchester United come to summer won't look attractive. They just won't look attractive. So I just don't think we'll buy him. I'd love him at Manchester United, but then you're going to have to get rid of, I mean, the likely right back who would leave is Ryan Bazaki. Um, and I think Fran Pong would be a good player, but then, you know, he, he, again, he'll want to come in and he'll want to play. He'll want to be, he'll want to be on the team sheet. He will not want. To be a backup to Dallow, but Dallow won't want to be a backup to him. So, you know, it's 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 weird. But I, I just I'd love him at Manchester United, Jeremy Frimpong. If we can get him, great. Will he want to come to us? In my opinion, this is only my opinion. I don't think so. But again, let us on the comments. Would you like him at Manchester United? Do you think we'll get him? Will he want to come to us? Like I said, I'd love him, but I just don't think we will. We will. Um, We'll get him. I just don't think we look attractive enough. I just don't. I just cannot see us getting him at all. Um, in the summer, I just cannot see us get him in the summer. Um, which look, I hope we do. I really do hope we do. But I just, I just don't know. It is going to be interesting to see how things plan out with Jeremy Frimpong. Um, but yeah, there's all your thoughts on the news in the comment section below. You know, there's my there's my pretty much thoughts um on that news. Um but look, like I said, I just you know, the way Boy Leverkusen top team just won the Bundesliga, Bundesliga champions, having a brilliant season. I just don't think you want to come to us. I just don't think you want to come to us. Um, I mean, look, we've been linked with him for maybe two or three seasons, but I just don't think we get them. But look, this has been the Manchester United News. Please do like the video, comment, and subscribe. Be much, much appreciated. Follow our social links in the description. And I'll speak to you all on the next one. Thanks for watching.